Here are a few things that are keeping you from starting. 1. Not knowing where to start. Standing at the starting line without a map in hand feels like being lost in a maze with no breadcrumbs to guide you. In a world bursting with possibilities and choices, that sense of not knowing where to begin can be as disorienting as trying to find your way out of quicksand. The more you struggle, the deeper you sink into uncertainty. Just as a Stoic would cherish the power of clear thinking and purposeful action, so too should we approach moments of indecision with a calm and rational mindset. When we're unsure of where to start, it's easy to feel like we're running on a treadmill, expending energy but going nowhere fast. The Stoics would nod knowingly, urging us to seize the present moment, assess our options with clarity, and boldly take that first step towards our goals. As the Stoic maxim goes, the obstacle is the way. By embracing our uncertainty and facing the challenge of not knowing where to start head on, we can cultivate a resilience that transforms obstacles into opportunities. So take a deep breath, trust in your ability to navigate the unknown, and step boldly into the fray. 2. Afraid of people's judgment. Imagine this, you're standing center stage, poised to perform, but the spotlight isn't just on you, it's also glaringly fixated on the audience, eagerly waiting to scrutinize your every move. The fear of judgment from those around you can feel like an oppressive weight, suffocating your ability to express yourself authentically. In a world where opinions reverberate loudly and social validation appears to be the ultimate prize, the dread of being judged can restrain us from embracing our true selves and pursuing our passions. The stoic principle of inner strength serves as a steadfast reminder that our value isn't dictated by external opinions, but rather by the integrity of our character. Just as a stoic would prioritize self-mastery and virtue over the fleeting approval of others, so too should we confront the fear of judgment with unwavering self-assurance and determination. When we allow the fear of others' judgment to govern our actions, we surrender our power and authenticity. The Stoics would counsel us to cultivate inner resilience, to stand resolute in our values and convictions, and to recognize that external opinions hold no true dominion over our intrinsic worth. As the Stoic adage goes, the only way to avoid criticism is to say nothing, do nothing, and be nothing. By embracing the discomfort of potential judgment and choosing to act in accordance with our genuine selves, we can transcend the fear of external evaluation and step boldly into our own light with confidence and courage. 3. Lack of experience. Imagine stepping onto a dance floor for the first time, feeling as graceful as a newborn giraffe trying to find its footing. That blend of charm and challenge is the essence of lacking experience. In a world where expertise and know-how are often celebrated, the feeling of being a novice can evoke both excitement and apprehension. The stoic principle of learning and growth serves as a gentle reminder that every master was once a beginner. Just as a Stoic would treasure the journey of acquiring knowledge and skills over the destination of mastery, so too should we approach our lack of experience with an inquisitive spirit and a hunger for learning. When we venture into uncharted territory, it's natural to feel overwhelmed and uncertain. Yet the Stoics would urge us to embrace the discomfort of being a novice, viewing it as an opportunity for growth and exploration. They encourage us to approach each new challenge with a beginner's mind, one that is open, eager, and unencumbered by preconceptions. As the Stoic philosophy reminds us, the obstacle is the way. By embracing our lack of experience as a stepping stone rather than a roadblock, we can cultivate resilience and adaptability empowering us to navigate the twists and turns of learning and growth 
with grace and determination. 4. You are lazy or not disciplined. Imagine your to-do list staring back at you like a disappointed puppy, its hopeful eyes silently pleading for attention. That's the delicate dance between laziness and discipline. In a world where distractions lurk around every corner and the alluring call of procrastination whispers in our ears, striking the right balance between lounging on the couch and tackling our tasks can feel like an eternal tug of war. But fear not, for Stoicism, with its timeless wisdom, provides us with a sturdy rope in this game of willpower. The Stoic principle of self-discipline serves as a guiding beacon, reminding us that true strength resides in mastering our desires and impulses. Just as a Stoic would cherish the power of action over the seductive pull of idleness, so too should we confront laziness with unwavering resolve and a steadfast commitment to self-improvement. When we find ourselves grappling with laziness or a lack of discipline, we run the risk of squandering our potential and falling short of our goals. Yet, the Stoics would implore us to embrace the discomfort of effort, recognizing it as a pathway to growth and resilience. They encourage us to approach each task with a sense of purpose and determination, viewing them not as burdens, but as stepping stones towards our aspirations. As the Stoic philosophy wisely reminds us, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. By choosing to confront laziness head on with discipline and action, we can cultivate an inner strength and fortitude that empower us to break free from inertia and confront life's challenges with courage and tenacity. 5. Overwhelming Goals Imagine your to-do list, resembling a mountain you're expected to climb without a map or climbing gear. That's the thrilling yet terrifying sensation of facing an overwhelming goal. In a world where ambitions soar high and expectations cast long shadows, the sheer magnitude of a daunting goal can leave us feeling like a tiny fish lost in a vast ocean. The stoic principle of focus serves as our guiding star, reminding us that progress is achieved one step at a time. Just as a stoic would cherish the notion of a journey of a thousand miles beginning with a single step, so too should we approach overwhelming goals with a composed mind and an unwavering resolve. When confronted with an overwhelming goal, it's natural to feel paralyzed by the enormity of the task ahead. Yet, the Stoics would encourage us to break down the goal into manageable steps, to shift our focus from the distant summit to the present moment, and to confront each challenge with a sense of purpose and determination. As the Stoic philosophy sagely suggests, the obstacle is the way. By recognizing the overwhelming nature of a goal as an opportunity for growth and learning, we can cultivate a sense of resilience and adaptability that empowers us to navigate the complexities of ambition with grace and courage. 6. Fear of competition. Imagine you're at a buffet, eyeing the last slice of your favorite dessert, and suddenly a swarm of hungry seagulls descends. That's the chaotic dance of the fear of competition. In a world where comparison is as common as morning coffee and the pressure to outshine others can feel like a spotlight on your insecurities, the fear of competing can turn even the most confident of us into jittery messes. The stoic principle of inner strength serves as our guiding light, reminding us that our worth is not measured by external victories, but by the integrity of our character. Just as a Stoic would cherish self-mastery and virtue over the fleeting triumphs of competition, so too should we approach the fear of competing with a calm mind and a steadfast heart. When confronted with the fear of competition, it's easy to feel like a small fish in a vast ocean surrounded by sharks. Yet, the Stoics would counsel us to focus on our own journey, to see competition as a means of growth rather than a threat, and to confront challenges with a sense of purpose and resilience. 
As the Stoic philosophy sagely suggests, the only way to avoid criticism is to say nothing, do nothing, and be nothing. By acknowledging the fear of competition as a natural part of the human experience, we can transform moments of insecurity into opportunities for self-improvement and personal growth. In the face of competition, we can choose to see it as a catalyst for excellence rather than a source of anxiety. 7. Thinking it is not the right time. Imagine you're standing at the edge of a diving board, ready to take the plunge into a pool of possibilities. But your brain decides to hit the pause button and whispers, maybe tomorrow is a better day to dive in. That's the tricky tango of thinking it's not the right time to start. In a world where waiting for the perfect moment seems like a wise strategy and procrastination feels like a cozy blanket on a chilly day, the fear of beginning can turn even the most ambitious dreamers into perpetual waiters at life's buffet. The stoic principle of seizing the moment reminds us that action is often the antidote to uncertainty. Just as a Stoic would value the power of taking that first step over waiting for ideal conditions, so too should we approach the dilemma of timing our beginnings with a bold spirit and a resolute mind. When faced with the feeling that it's not the right time to start, it's easy to feel like a squirrel hoarding nuts for winter, waiting for the perfect acorn to drop. The Stoics would counsel us to embrace the discomfort of uncertainty, to see each moment as an opportunity for growth rather than delay, and to approach challenges with a sense of purpose and determination. As the Stoic philosophy suggests, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. By acknowledging the challenge of timing our beginnings as a natural part of the human experience, we can transform moments of hesitation into opportunities for action and progress. In the face of uncertainty, we can choose to see it as a chance to cultivate courage and resilience. 8. Fear of failure. Imagine you're about to take a leap of faith, but your brain decides to hit the emergency brake and scream, what if you fall flat on your face? That's the roller coaster ride of the fear of failure. In a world where success stories flood our feeds and perfection seems like the ultimate goal, the fear of stumbling can turn even the bravest of us into jittery kittens on a high wire. The stoic principle of resilience serves as our trusty guide, reminding us that setbacks are not the end of the road, but stepping stones on the path to growth. Just as a Stoic would value the lessons learned from failure over the illusion of flawless success, so too should we approach the fear of failure with a steady gaze and a courageous heart. When faced with the fear of failure, it's easy to feel like a tightrope walker without a safety net, teetering on the edge of uncertainty. Yet the Stoics would counsel us to embrace the discomfort of imperfection, to view failure as a teacher rather than a punisher, and to approach challenges with a sense of humility and determination. As the Stoic philosophy wisely suggests, the greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. By acknowledging the fear of failure as a natural part of the human experience, we can transform moments of doubt into opportunities for resilience and self-discovery. In the face of failure, we can choose to see it as a chance to rise stronger and wiser from the ashes of defeat, ready to conquer the next challenge with renewed vigor and wisdom. 9. You are scared to do it alone. Imagine you're at a party, eyeing the dance floor, but your friends are all glued to their seats like they're part of the furniture. That's the awkward tango of being scared to do it alone. In a world where independence is praised, but the comfort of companionship feels like a warm blanket on a cold night, the fear of going solo can make even the bravest of souls feel like a lost puppy in a big, intimidating park. The stoic principle of self-reliance serves as our beacon, reminding us that true strength comes from within, not from the shadows of others. 
Just as a Stoic would value the power of standing tall on one's own two feet over the safety of leaning on others, so too should we approach the fear of solitude with a steady resolve and a courageous spirit. When faced with the fear of doing it alone, it's easy to feel like a lone wolf in a world of pack animals, yearning for the safety of the herd. Yet, the Stoics would counsel us to embrace the discomfort of independence, to view solitude as an opportunity for self-discovery rather than a punishment, and to approach challenges with a sense of inner fortitude and determination. As the Stoic philosophy wisely suggests, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. By acknowledging the fear of doing it alone as a natural part of the human experience, we can transform moments of uncertainty into opportunities for growth and self-reliance. In the face of solitude, we can choose to see it as a chance to cultivate inner strength and resilience, ready to navigate life's dance floor with confidence and grace, whether surrounded by companions or standing boldly on our own. 10. Being a Perfectionist Imagine you're trying to bake the perfect cake, but every time you take it out of the oven, it's either a burnt brick or a soggy mess. That's the exhausting waltz of being a perfectionist. In a world where Instagram filters make everything look flawless and success seems synonymous with flawlessness, the pursuit of perfection can turn even the most creative minds into stressed out artists with a never ending canvas. The stoic principle of acceptance serves as our guiding light reminding us that true beauty lies in embracing imperfection. Just as a Stoic would value the journey of growth and learning over the destination of flawlessness, so too should we approach the trap of perfectionism with a light heart and a gentle touch. When faced with the burden of being a perfectionist, it's easy to feel like a sculptor chiseling away at a block of marble, never satisfied with the result. Yet the Stoics would counsel us to embrace the beauty of imperfection, to see mistakes as opportunities for growth rather than failures, and to approach challenges with a sense of humility and resilience. As the Stoic philosophy wisely suggests, in short, the wise man looks to the purpose of all actions, not their consequences. Beginnings are in our power but fortune judges the outcome, and I do not grant her a verdict upon me. By acknowledging the pitfalls of perfectionism as a natural part of the human experience, we can transform moments of self-criticism into opportunities for self-compassion and personal growth. In the pursuit of perfection, we can choose to see it as a chance to cultivate inner strength and acceptance, ready to savor the beauty found within life's beautifully imperfect moments.